Robo Factory 100 for the two floor premises. The first floor usually contains the heaviest elements. Robocop 220 conveyor. Also, on the ground floor, there are usually a packaging machine, which is also very heavy, and a warehouse of the raw materials, pallets with the grain and food additives. Lighter elements, such as hopper, coating drum, slurry station, are located on the second floor. At the exit from the coating drum, the ready-made popcorn goes to the tray of the packaging machine. Under the gravity, the final product falls down to the packaging station. The process starts in the row of the 20, a vortex popcorn machine. The popcorn kernels pops automatically and without frying in the oil, which saves a lot of money. The Robocop 20 is easy to set up and adjust, so you can work with a variety of corn grains from premium to poor quality raw materials. The conveyor lifts popcorn to the second floor, the inclined part of the conveyor covered with a metal casing to protect the product from the dust. Spices, cheese or salt are mixed with the butter at the slurry station. Then the pump feeds the mixer into the coating drum. Plain popcorn accumulated into the hopper from where it is fed by the vibrating tray to the coating drum. The coating drum has two infrared heaters to keep the finished product warm. The drum mixes the slurry with the popcorn, gradually moving the finishing product to the exit. All control of the rubber factory is carried out from the central touchscreen. Each element also has a redundant controls for manual control. After preparing cheese or savory popcorn, the finished product is fed into the tray of the packaging machine, it's located on the first floor. This layout allows you to minimize the footprint and place Robofactory even in a small room, 